So I'm gonna be presenting you a vending machine. So I'm presenting a vending machine in Scrap Mechanic. Also, normally you can't get sun shakes inside of in Creative Scrap Mechanic. They have mods, so I can use play or whatever, surf mod and whatever. So main topic, I made it a, on my own. Yes, no copyrights. I made a vending machine. No, I was literally brave enough to do it. And you would say, so ask me, is this spaghetti logic? Well, let me tell you, yes, it is. <laughs> um, if you want, you can look at the connections and try to replicate it. Here's a good angle. Here's another angle. Also, don't ask about the other vending machine. That's more complicated. Just the internal parts, sensors, sun shake. Obviously, that. Of course, it's modded because you can't get sun. Of course, it's modded because you can't get sun shake and scrap. So there's pistons here that by default is off. So there's these one sensors that detect if this is here. And if there is a sun shake, then if this switch is pressed, it'll do a bunch of crap stuff. And then shoot this. Only if the sensor is back. So let's say turn on this. And now I just Yeah, that was my own code. Like, literally. So, what happens here is that when this goes, when it shoots, it'll also re... Okay, just completely forgot how I made this thing. So, there's a mechanism where if you turn it on, it shoots, and after some time, it so now, if this is actually delayed into, oh, I'm starting to know how it works. This is mine, anyways. I just made this. So it goes into a well, XNOR, which will control if it. What the? Is this an XNOR? That's an XOR. So basically, when this turns on. It allows this to go. While if I press a switch here, it'll it it'll turn on into the thing, pulling this back for me like a few seconds or like half an hour, and then it'll come back because then uh start and then stop immediately. The thing logic thing that I made up like in this section uh would. Well, yeah, remove this input and then cause it to go back again. So here's all that working in 3, 2, 1. Click close attention. I have this. Now, Super Sun Shape makes you strong at. And then, same goes for the two bar. Which they don't need. And also notice it starts beeping it's empty. So here's how to like refill it. First, grab your old tool. Second, delete only these three blocks. But you said lift and put outside. Get another creation which is then you refill two pin. First one's supposed to be two glass bottles, but now I have a sun shake. Excuse me, may you listen? Okay. So grab this bottom and then hold it here while the sun shakes are facing toward you. 
Oh my freaking god, I forgot to turn off the things. Of course, I have to turn off the switches, so let's do that again. Oh, now you can see how to actually... Yeah. Speed. And put it back in. And there you go. It's refilled. And that's how the vanish works. And as well, you may see a bunch of nonsense crap stuff that you don't know, which is if all these sensors are off, it will trigger this and by all the and that will cause the beeping, which is empty. And then there's also this and it it what is this? And this yeah, it's just complicated to understand. The way I started is just using what logic gates could do to like, well, figure things out and just, oh, so or, so you, so you have to put this and, or that, so to activate the little whatever, whatever the hell I'm, I'm talking right now. So, yeah, that's how I figured this thing out, which apparently I did. And then, here's the other one. It's with a coin system. Yay, a coin! <laughs> uh, this, this yellow coin thing is kind of broken, so let me just replace it with a block. Yeah, that's gonna be one for that. Ah. And I don't know. Look at the pistons. Why are they like that? Can someone explain to me? Look at the pistons over there. Look at it. Look, they're fluctuating. Why are they doing that? <laughs> and that causes my, um, well, game or scrap mechanic to completely reset button inputs. Like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> okay, so first you put in coin. And I didn't do that, which makes me straight up look very dumb. Okay. So for, you put in the thing to load it, then you just eh, eh, eh. drop in a coin, and I didn't drop in a coin, and I just realized that my video has been already 8 minutes, there you go, okay, so now I want a1 I got a1 yay and then when I run out of time or I can pay more and then go like I want B1 B2 and I'll only do those and once that's gone I can't do anything I'm being stuck I ran out of time this is the amount of time you have before the machine stops working and I have to put in another coin. So, the other coin will be another. Or, the other way is to just like what you want, make sure this is there, make sure it's refilled, and just drop in a coin. Put your selection and that before you drop the coin and then it's something for you. What the heck? Oh my... Wait, this coin system gets jammed! Oh my god! Oh! Uh. 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 Well, guess what? I just got my thing. I know this is pretty annoying. So I'm just... Refill before it just grabs my ears. And <laughs> three, two, one. And it's been ten minutes in this video. How has it been so long just describing a single thing? So basically, this video is about yes, yeah, stuff. So there. That's everything I can show.
for the vending machine. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, click it. Oh my. So I don't know how to cut. So please apologize. Um, subscribe, click the like button, and click the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Anyways, bye! <laughs>